is one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. If you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal that he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to spin, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this have. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the players. matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the best in the business, Herb fight. Dean is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. He is undefeated, he is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, and what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, he's going to get in Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, half guard now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Big ground and pound. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Heel hook looks tight. Going very hard to try to finish this fight by heel hook. He has got to secure the leg. Oh, 
the submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over. These guys are he's setting up a submission attempt. He's got it isolated. Position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. In the half guard. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Numago Men. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh. Final seconds here. All right, so the fighter's setting up another sub attempt here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did it perfect. Ready. Second round underway. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice combination there. He is just. Yeah, he's very good, man. Now we're going. Oh, man, he's a hard. Now Leather being thrown on both sides. There's a left hand. It's a nice jab by him there. Oh, there it is. Double City catches the kick and promptly counters with that takedown. Great time, great recognition of seeing the kick coming and turning it into your offense. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. A lot of top pressure being applied here. That was a slick transition. Nermanko Menov's back to the side control now. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh my goodness, I think he might have it. That transition. Right from the Kimura into the arm bar. He's gone. 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 No way. He got it. This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the arm bar, fight with Dunn. He loves to fight on. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive good plan. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a sufficient or big ground and pound. He passed the half guard. Nermago Manoff's back in full back. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he... Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He... Wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, good defense, yes. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. 
Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, Ready always fight. reacting Ready. starts to really wear Ready. at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Big shot to the head. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Change of the position. Good work from the top here by Nermago Medoff. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Nice shots landing from the top position. For submission now. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. He's attacking the guillotine. Look at that. It's tight. Oh, he got out again. He got out again. This guy just keeps on fighting off submission after submission. The way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed. Oh, huge elbow! He's brutalizing them with the ground and pound. This fight is close to being done. The hard oh, ground and pound is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. This is a terrible position. Armbar. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight. Oh, oh, and that will do it. The number one. Back with style points tonight. Oh, oh, my goodness. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot. Gets the win by way of submission. That after party's going to be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch. And it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 27 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Habib the Eagle, Nermago Meta! All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nermago Meta. Have you heard it there from Buff? He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is a world when you're having to grapple with Habib Nurmagomedov and spend extended periods of time on the ground, you're constantly under duress. You're constantly in danger. And Habib finds his position 